Hey, welcome to this Windows channel and this is a week where we are testing antivirus software. So my first report is on Avira free antivirus and uh, of course when I tested all the antivirus I will give out a report of what I think and what I think are the best top five antivirus software. So Avira antivirus is free is available on the internet of course a link will be in the description below the video and I've done several tests and checked several factors actually my tests for this year's antivirus are much more uh, complex so I've got a lot of details that I check for um, so what I come up with is the um, fact that on all the tests that I've done the test file detection. I've actually downloaded a test file or created a test file and that test file is what it's called the um, I -E -I -CAR or EICAR. It's a test file that is a string of characters. So what I did is I created that file and saved it on my computer. Now in the Avira antivirus test I could open the file. It's not necessarily good news because technically it should have prevented me from opening it. But we'll see what other antivirus what happens. But when I scan the file, if I right click and choose the scan option, it immediately tells me danger that is a virus. I'm going to remove it. So at least in the scan it does detect the uh, antivirus. Detects bad files downloaded including malware. I've tried a few pieces of software that I know includes malware and um, they've been blocked by the antivirus from download which is good news meaning that it actually does a good job at detecting anything you're downloading from the web. Unfortunately it includes a little bit of junkware, what I call junkware, and if we look at the control panel here, you see that there are five items that can be installed. I installed the free antivirus and the browser safety. But system speed up here, I, you know, for me, anything that is like that is junkware. So I, you know, it asks you when you install if you want one of these five items. Now I do like the identity safeguard and anti-theft although I did not install it. Uh, if you register the anti-theft can actually track your devices, your phones so it's pretty cool for that. It'll tell you where it is so if you have for example an Apple phone, a say you got an iPad and a Windows phone and a Windows tablet and you know so you're an Android user with another phone or another tablet and you know you've got a mixed environment here what's cool is that this will reunite all of these devices into one place where you can search for them and know where they are you can make them ring or do a sound so that you can actually find them if you've lost them so that I find interesting the identity safeguard is another interesting thing what it does, it actually acquires lists of all the you know, email addresses that have been stolen with time. And if they find your email in there, it's going to actually notify you your email has been stolen. So that's also kind of interesting. These two require registration, which is free. Um, so that's at least interesting for that. And it, I, I do find these features interesting. System speed up, I wish they would remove because for me that's junkware. And if you want to have something to speed up your system, well, get C Cleaner and just stay with that. Apart from that, um, of course, free antivirus and browser safety works well. Of course, it doesn't integrate right now with Edge. It will probably eventually when Edge do. But when you check out with Google Chrome, for example, you can see that you have a little Avira icon on the upper right. It adds an extension and you can click on it to see if a website is safe, which is a nice feature and I do like having that type of feature in 
the um, software or in the browser basically it doesn't really slow down the internet browsing that much so I like that didn't really you know didn't really see any differences or much differences here apart from that um, I've done a 2.3 gigabyte test folder it has different files and stuff in there it does not include anything with viruses but I wanted to know how fast it can scan such a test file so we'll be of course checking out the time that it takes for a different antivirus so 2.3 gigabyte in a folder took 2 minutes and 58 seconds so it isn't too bad and so the Avira free antivirus does look like a very interesting solution for some people that want a free solution on their computers other than Defender it really seems to be very nice actually I would say that it seems to do more than Windows Defender which is the basic antivirus in Windows 10 and um, the negative side of it is that it does slow down the startup somewhat uh, and if you look here at its um, what it takes as um, you know resource for the computer first of all if we look at the startup items um, it does say that there's the Avira launcher which is medium startup impact and the system tray icon I set a startup impact and I do see it at its high startup impact it takes time before it actually will appear on the taskbar so these are things that of course slow down every antivirus does slow down I must say but um, you know we'll see compared to others what it is as for the processes um, I can tell you that the total memory used with Avira is 80 megabytes when it's just running because here you see only one process but if we look at the names you'll see that there's different processes here and if we take all the processes add them up uh, we get to about 70 to 80 megabytes usage in general of RAM memory and when it scans it goes up to a wobbling 200 megabyte of being used uh, but it then comes back to about 70 to 80 megabytes used when we come back to the regular um, usage. One negative side is that sometimes there's pop-ups that appear for um, the free version to go to the pro version. But apart from that, if you can live with random pop-ups from time to time, it's not too bad. So, uh, of course... You've got the Avira Launcher, which is a very easy to understand, um, you know, little panel here. And it tells you when it's protected or not. Uh, so it works pretty well. It, uh, of course, has all sorts of options. You can manage the antivirus side. It has all different options. It includes a firewall, which is very nice. This is something that not all antivirus have, but it does say, okay, firewall, internet protection with firewall and protection with real-time protection included. And of course, you can upgrade to the pro version if you want. So there's, um, you know, all the information about the system scanner, where it's going to scan, the real-time protection, firewall options for here. If you look at real-time protection, here it says, I've got this last virus found, which is the ACAR test signature, which, um, and you can click and see if, uh, for more information on the virus protection. As you see here, our information on that virus, and you can see that it's slowly touching and scanning stuff in my computer. So it's pretty cool for that. Android security, if you have an Android phone, you can actually check that. You have the quarantine where it shows what you have. So here you've got all the suspicious stuff that I've downloaded and tried that it's not doesn't know exactly what's happening. And uh, you've got the eCar test signature uh, also. So there's a lot of stuff here that it's checking out. And uh, most are in the app local data temp stuff because that's all part of the suspicious files that I've tried downloading. 
So you see here, all of that is in quarantine, which is a good and a very, very nice idea. So you can schedule, of course, uh, when you will scan your computer. You can get a report of the scans and what it found and what happened and uh, all the events of the things that it detected. So if you're looking here and saying, hey, the guy's got viruses, well, I intentionally, for the purpose of helping you people, um, done some little bad things that I knew would uh, be a, a problem if I continued on. Of course, I did stop before, uh, I, you know, not e executing a file or anything, just downloading to see if everything is detected. And it does seem to do a good job, though, and for that, um, works fine. I was looking at the different options, uh, the different comments that people have. Um, I must say that it's a mixed bag on a lot of the websites that I went to. Uh, some people report problems, others don't. The biggest problem with um, people reporting problems in antivirus is that uh, when you got viruses and when you've got some virus um, problems and malware, uh, installing an antivirus sometimes messes things up and people will mistake the uh, Avira antivirus and the viruses uh, and think, well, Avira's you know, no good because it did scrap my computer. But if you've got viruses, it's maybe because the viruses scrapped your computer after Avira starting removing them. So that's the thing to check for. But uh, it does seem to work well. Um, CNET and PCMag did give it a um, pretty good note for a free uh, antivirus. So of course you can download this if you wish to have a free protection other than Defender because what I said is that you do have Windows Defender and it does deactivate Windows Defender once you've actually uh, installed it and it tells you that it will deactivate Windows Defender on your Windows machine. So it's very important to uh, know that and of course visible icon all the time with that little red icon here and uh, that tells you uh, that you're protected. So that's uh, the first antivirus that I've tested. I'll be testing more and will eventually uh, do a video where I will talk about what I think are the best antivirus uh, of 2016 or at least as of February of 2016. I hope you will enjoy this report and that uh, you'll find that it's kind of interesting. And I am putting my computer at risk to help you guys know what is good or not. If you enjoy my videos, why not subscribe to my channel? You'll be informed when new videos are online. Give us a thumbs up if you like the videos. If you have any comments, questions, suggestions, uh, maybe you have an antivirus I haven't put in the list. Look at my video of the 12 antivirus I'm checking out uh, and I'll see if I can uh, test it out and let you guys know what I think. Thank you so much for watching and hope that you will continue following me on the channel.